Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Big news tonight. Bokao just knocked out the only man that I'm aware of who ever knocked him out. Back in, I believe it was 2008, Yoshihiro Sato put Bokao down with a big knee, a low kick, and then I think it was a cross. And it was just stunning. And I was actually training at Bokao's gym prior to that fight. I was stunned, devastated that he got knocked out. He did go on to avenge it, but tonight, not only by decision, but by KO, it was Bokao versus Sato number five, and he got the job done. Let's look at this fight. Look at what exactly happened. Early on, we see Bokao catch the front kick and come with a big left hook. And this is actually how he knocked out Sato in the very first fight. This time Sato is smarter, he keeps his hand up, he's defensive. Couple times Bokao goes for this move, but does not have any luck landing it. Later on, we see Yoshihiro Sato throw some nice high kicks and Bokao fading back very nicely. This is something that we have not seen him do throughout most of his career, having that awesome tip back to evade head kicks. I love seeing it from him and he looks so sharp executing it. Later on, we see Bokao throw some awesome hand combinations, firing them off, looking extra sharp. I'm wondering if his training for his previous bare knuckle boxing fight had something to do with his hands looking so sharp. And then we move to the conclusion of the fight, the closing, the knockout. We see Bokao throw a left front kick and then he comes down with a cross. What we have to remember and what happened to Sato is he came for the left hook, but hooks are slower than straight punches. So the hook is coming around, but before it lands, Bokao lands his cross, he drops. Yoshihiro Sato and let's keep in mind that Sato has been inactive for a super long time. This comeback fight was out of nowhere. I thought he was completely done fighting whereas Bokao took some time off but has been competing and I think the edge goes to Bokao just because he's been a little bit more active and Yoshihiro Sato is going to struggle a little bit against a high level guy like Bokao but either way great to see a win a revenge fight for Bokao coming off that, you know, years ago, big knockout, which was just so sad for so many fans. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see some fight clips. If you did, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel, get subscribed for much more content, not just fight related news, but tutorials, workouts. I cover everything here. As always guys, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video.